At Queen's, we've been building a world-class reputation for our research into all aspects of the global food system for many years. The world's global food supply system is the most complex supply system in the world. Our institute has researchers which are focused on major challenges within our global food systems. We cover the research understanding agriculture, farming, right through to public health. What our researchers are doing is finding solutions for the challenges faced by the agri-food sector with a particular focus on making that sector environmentally sustainable. Our institute has developed a global reputation in the area of food safety. This work is one of the key reasons why the United Nations designated IGFS as a collaborating centre in the area of food safety and food integrity. Our research excellence is connected through partnerships to help us deliver on key challenges. So we work in partnership to co-create solutions that help implement sustainable practices on farm. We're working with Morrisons, one of the largest food retailers in the UK, in order to reduce methane emissions from their herds. One of the distinctive strengths of our research here at Queen's is the collaborations that we have with world leaders in our field, in particular with Tufts and the Harvard T. H. Chan School of Public Health. We're working with industry partners such as McDonald's to improve uh, the, the welfare and the health of, of our farm animals. We're working with Harvard University and University College Dublin to develop new biomarkers of dietary intake. But what unites all of the work that our researchers do is a commitment to interdisciplinary collaboration as the lever that's going to create the kind of disruptive thinking that leads to innovative solutions and genuine societal impact. One of the very interesting examples of interdisciplinary working is our efforts to mitigate methane production from ruminant animals. We have identified that some seaweeds are very rich in chemicals which can reduce methane production from ruminant animals. There's an awareness that if we feed seaweed to cows then their milk will be naturally enriched in iodine. So we've now collected that milk, we've measured the iodine in that milk and we're now going to feed that milk to humans who are deficient in iodine to demonstrate that that will naturally enrich their iodine status and that will be linked to improved health outcomes. So that is the beauty of working in Queen's really, is that ability to work across from your own discipline into other areas to make sure that you're looking at systems as a whole. And this is really unique to Queen's. There are very few places that can actually work in this manner.